everybody. Well, I'm going to try something a little different. I'm going to use YouTube. Uh, I'm hoping no one else is using that because uh, I thought it was a little different, but we'll see. So I'm going to tell you about uh, literacy in my life and how it's affected me um, and how I hope to bring literacy into the lives of others uh, in different ways, and I'll touch on that. So we'll start off with children's books. My mom used to read me Robert Munch and uh, the Jolly Pocket Postman and stuff like that, and I really dug it, you know, pictures, words that start off easy and you, when, as you get older you get to read them too and uh, that's always fun. And for me, uh, literacy uh, impacted my life uh, pretty early on. So my favorite book when I was young was uh, the, Jolly Pocket, the po Jolly Pocket Postman. And um, when I went into, kinder er, into daycare slash kindergarten, I wanted to be a postman. And it was because of that book. So I actually made a little uh, bag and I would write letters and put it in the bag and start delivering it to everybody. And um, that's what I did for a while. Later on, I want to become a teacher, and um, now that I can't get a job, maybe I should go back into the post office business. But anyway, that's something else. Um, as I got older, um, I got into uh, history books uh, for a reason, and it's, you know the the children's books on, say, the Trojan War or on the the Liberty Bell or the Statue of Liberty or you know history stuff um, in small book format. Um, the reason was my family used to go to Florida every year, and um, uh, at one point my parents started saying, "Okay." Um, where would you like to go? And you know, we would want to go wherever. And uh, she would say, "Well, you can decide where we want to go." Uh, my parents would say this, and um, but you would have to research before we go. So I was like, "Oh, okay." So uh, we'd go and get books on like you know the Liberty Bell in Philadelphia, and um, and the Titanic and and Pocahontas and stuff. And um, we would research, read these read these books. My my brother and I have an older brother. And, um, we would uh, figure these things out and we'd be like, okay, we want to go to uh, Philadelphia and we want to see this bell. So we actually one time went to Philadelphia just to see the bell. We actually, you know, we went to the Natural Museum there too, which was amazing, but um, we went just because I read about this bell in a book and um, it, my parents gave me that power. They gave us that power that um, that kind of like connects literacy with the real world and and look what you can do if you if you read and it's like, wow, that's, you know, at such an age, it was really cool. Um, and that went on for years. Um, that also influenced my, my future, like my, I, I love history now, and I, I think a lot has to do with um, researching at a young age and reading and re being really into it um, and then going, being able to see it. So I think the literacy aspect and uh, um, having the opportunity to go and, and, and travel like that, um, even just down to Florida and, and up and down the coast of the states, um, really helped, and I think that's, that's something that I wish all children could, um, uh, could experience. I'm going to fast forward a little bit to um, the mid-90s when I was uh, a, a young lad and uh, Star Wars became a big thing for me. I, I really dug to it and um, I started reading Star Wars books. And um, this is, I think, the uh, the first major book that came out in the 90s and, and now there are over a hundred Star Wars novels and I wish I could show you my shelf. I own or just almost all of them. I think I'm missing one or two, which is kind of sad. I haven't read um, you know a quarter of them yet, but I do love them. Um, I hear an alarm, but I think that's okay. I hope that's not a fire alarm. Anyway, so Star Wars, big thing for me. Um, I got into Star Wars. I, I got into the books, and Star Wars has been a big part of my life um, for a number of years now. So um, thank you, books, for giving me the uh, kind of like inside scoop and the, the background on um, on Star Wars. Um, uh, we'll fast forward a little bit more to um, let's go let's go present day. Um, me as a as a person um, uh, as a teacher, um, I've been collecting books to be able to teach kids for a while. So, kids books like this, um, Lemony Snicket's A Series of Unfortunate Events. Uh, I have like a ton, a ton, a ton of, of kids books um, in this format, or you know, like pic picture books and the history books and stuff. And um, I get that to have a classroom library in the future. Um, but instead, I read these books. So I've read almost all of these series of unfortunate events. Um, right now, I'm reading a Captain Hook book. You know, um, I'm really into kids books, and it's they're they're quick reads and they're they're fun stories. Um, so I definitely recommend that if you don't read um, kids books regularly, get into it. It's pretty cool. Um, another part of my life right now, uh, board games. So this is the uh, instruction manual to. Uh, Ticket to Ride, which is my favorite board game. It's a great game for everybody. Uh, I worked when I did my internship with uh, an HSP class, grade seven, eight. I brought it in, and the kids really took to it. Um, it's so it's easy enough, but uh, there's enough depth there that you know kids can enjoy and adults. So it, it is my favorite, and um, you know teaching children. 
games is one thing. Having them read instruction booklets, uh, reading along with them, however you want to do it, um, it's just one little way. And, and I, I feel board games have um, a big place in the classroom. So I would say if you don't use board games, start using them. Um, contact me if you want to uh, hear about board games that are great for the classroom. I've done little presentations on it, and uh, I think it's really cool to uh, have board games in there. Um, uh, kind of uh, related, um, hopefully you can see that. Uh, these are magic cards, Magic the Gathering, uh, one of the nerdiest games um, that you could play, nerdiest things you could do. Um, great for literacy though. Uh, it's a game, it's a card game. Things, uh, you know, you play cards onto the table, but um, cards have, uh, up here in the corner, a cost. Okay. Um, numbers. <laughs> it's slight math, but, you know, it works. Look at all the, the text, you know, and I this is a game for 13 plus, but I'm playing with seven-year-olds are, are getting into the game and I have a uh, nine and ten-year-old at the daycare that I work at that that play the game and they understand and they read everything and they know how to play and they know they know the ins and outs of, of the game so it's not just hey let's put a creature and you know do whatever it's they'll read it and, and start you know strategizing and, and really thinking about it and I think um, this is a fantastic way um, of getting kids into um, into literacy as well is uh, again like when I was young and I did the history thing I enjoyed it because I enjoyed the history and enjoyed the reading um, enjoying the game couldn't make uh, reading fun as well um, I play a lot of video games um, there is a lot of literacy especially RPGs where you have to read a lot of stuff um, I don't know how I feel about video games and young kids um, I know there are a lot of really bad and violent games out there which I despise and I wish were not um, out there but you can't help it really um, when children come to class and start talking about video games, you know what? I'll I'll talk to them about it too, but I'll try to sway them towards the games that I prefer, like a Little Big Planet, and you know, like this, you know, games with puzzles and strategies and stuff. It's you know, not the violent stuff. Um, gotta love Indigo. Um, you have the I Rewards program, twenty percent off, Wicked, um, or ten percent off. Um, gift cards. Don't get your child a child a toy I should know I have a lot of toys still even as an adult but get them one of these get them reading get them into the bookstore and make them love it let them choose and we'll start there and on, on the idea of choosing um, this is one um, this is a comic strip but um, I want this to represent uh, graphic novels and um, I didn't really get into graphic novels until at, at, ad, at my adult years and now they have a lot of um, graphic novels and and kind of like comic -y things for um, younger you know children and young adults which I think are a great way to get um, literacy in there it's got the pictures it's got everything you need um, it really is uh, really is uh, an interesting step um, from pictures um, into into full-fledged reading and um, there's just a whole bunch of stuff on graphic novels and using comics in the classroom. So um, that's that's pretty much it. Um, I could go on, um, but I'm not going to. Um, thank you for listening, and um, enjoy the summer, and I'll see you uh, online.